five years from now, it's highly unlikely to be where you say you're going to be five years from now. Why? Well, I'm an absolute firm believer on setting goals down daily, weekly, monthly, three monthly, annually, three years, five years. And we can do everything to hit those goals. However, very often when someone is new to the whole goal setting thing, a lot of the goals are heavily material, physical. I didn't say materialistic, physical, actual. Not, not concepts, not feelings, not beings. Those are a little harder to work on sometimes because they're not as definitive. However, over the course of five years, it's not what you get, it's not what you achieve. It's who you become and who you meet that are going to be decisive on where you're at over the next five years. You know, having a one-year goal of uh, whatever, a Lamborghini Aventador is fantastic. That won't define you as a human being. It might give you a better work ethic. However, you hit that goal in a year, Let's read that, mate. You hit that goal in a year, you're gonna find that you're gonna meet different people if you're driving a car like that. Why? I'll tell you why. The energy you get from something like that, you're gonna walk different, you're gonna talk different, you're gonna attract different because of the energy, the vibration, call it what you will, that you're going to emit. Not force out, not fake out, but emit. Don't believe me, go sit in one for 10 minutes. You don't think you can go sit in one? Or any exotic car? Herein lies your first challenge. If you drove one of those, would you have any problem at all walking to any dealership anywhere? Whether they knew you drove one or not? And just sitting in a car? anything any exotic car no you wouldn't why because the energy you give off the vibrational frequency you give off you would walk in there and they would just feel it so over five years these are determined by experiences we have people we meet things we do more so than substance we get it's evolving you may find yourself all of a sudden getting invited to better parties. Could be a simple thing. So, what's this about? My point here is simple. To quote Jim Rohn. If you don't know who Jim Rohn was, R-O-H-N. Tony Robbins who credits him with being his first mentor. We are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. If you were spending the most time with the same people today as you were five years ago, you haven't evolved as a human being. You're offended? I don't give a fuck. You haven't evolved. You've spent time years, for five years of your life. Not invested in it. So go out there today. Go connect with some people. You know what? Some of them are going to be idiots anyway. But you might just all of a sudden connect with someone. So in our life, occasionally we run into some people, we just meet them, and we don't like them. We don't know why, we don't need a reason, we just don't like them. It's an energy, it's a frequency, there's something off. I bet you've had someone like that. The flip side of that coin, I'm guessing that you, at some point you've met someone in your life 
and you just hit it off and you feel like you've known each other for years. Well, over the next five years, you're gonna meet some of each. And for some of you guys, I'm gonna fall into one category or another. I don't really care. Okay. When we start trying to please others, we stop trying to please ourselves. So, from a beautiful morning in Spanish Harlem, guys, have a fantastic day.